I got the job from five guys. Let's go. Mike did too, but he's still working at Winley's. So he's going to have two jobs. I'm going to have one. Amigos out. Let's go. <laughs> Amigos out. Let's go. <laughs> Mike's still working at Wendy's. <laughs> I took the plunge and uh, had the time of my life. I finally took the plunge. You know what? Feels great. What's up, guys? Welcome to The Plunge. Today is another shirtless day for me. Joining me, as always, my lovely husband, Riley T. Say what's up, dude. I'm a failure in all aspects of my life, but I'm here! That's yeah! all we ask for. I may not work at Five Guys, but I'm here, baby! We can we count. You know where to find me. It's not Five Guys. It's right here. And Mike's here, too, but he's working at Wendy, so it's okay. <laughs> and... Joining us, special guest, Will. Say what's up, dude. Hey, what's up, guys? Pleasure to be here. Have you thought about what team you want to be on this week? You know, I've been thinking about it all day. Can you be on the Five Guys team? I'm going to be on Team Five Guys for sure. (laughs) What about Team Wendy's? Uh, no, I don't. No, uh, he's, Mike's he's, working at Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> working <laughs> <five guys. laughs> no, Mike's working at Wendy's. Hold on, I got it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Kay. We are your fourth favorite host on the East Coast, the number one hockey podcast south of the border, the number one religious equestrian podcast north of the Mason Dixon line, the number one cumulonimbus podcast south of the stratosphere, the number one skyscraper podcast. It's what, Will? It's in the trees. And we are some number I'm, improv. I'm, I'm about to have a fucking field day. You ready for this? Okay. And the number one potato podcast in Idaho. We are the Go number on, 160 Rush. improv comedy podcast in the United States of America. The number 246 improv comedy podcast in Great Britain. Somehow also the number 396 great uh, improv podcast in Great Britain simultaneously. We're also the number 232 uh, improv comedy podcast in Norway and the number 200 belt uh, improv comedy podcast in Belgium. Also, it says see two more charts, but that's behind a paywall. So we are also elsewhere. Back to you, Hunt. Uh, uh, I'm done. Like you- <laughs> I, I, did, I did my accolades. I got to ask you something. You, It's not asking. I'm telling you. You know how last week we played, we played, uh, we played, you know, White Claw Gabe. Yeah, or... fucking Thursday night, <laughs> Thursday night baby. baby. Yeah, this guy. We only watched like 10 seconds of that video. I went and watched the whole video. He goes on for the full allotted minute that TikTok has. I want to I don't play like it. that. Can I play it? You can play it in its entirety. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Thursday night, baby. Thursday night, baby. Yeah, Thursday night. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Got five on it, baby, yeah. Fucking Thursday night, party time, yeah. It's a short work week, but yeah. The weekend here, finally, Thursday night, baby. I think this is where we stopped it. We're like, yeah, okay, you can't possibly. Yeah, there's nothing more to do. <laughs> How... Turn that fucking banger of a song back on. How wrong were we? Fucking Thursday, fucking White Claw. Got three days to party. You got to get tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday, yeah. Go clubbing, yeah, Thursday night. Yeah, yeah t- right, tomorrow's Friday. No work, no school. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fucking Thursday night, Bring baby. The music Fucking back. weekend. Even the music oh, back. yeah. Fuck the weekend's here, finally. Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. The fucking weekend, Thursday night. Thursday motherfucking night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he overdid that. That goes on for far <laughs> too long. So yeah. Fucking third. He has like a whole forty-five seconds of it. it's fucking Thursday night, baby. Well, you know what comes after Thursday night? Oh, it's, it's Friday. Fucking Monday. Happy fucking <laughs> Monday. I ain't gonna do shit today. I'm just gonna chill and sleep all day. Fuck, man. It's fucking Monday. Happy <laughs> Monday. I'm just gonna watch Cobra Kai all day. Maybe later have a barbecue. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's fucking Monday.
The vibes <laughs> are significantly lower. <laughs> the script identical. Dude, he's like, <laughs> when is it? When is it gonna be Thursday again? Because I need more of. Uh, oh, I thought you'd thing. never ask. <laughs> Just going for my daily exercise. Oh wait, sorry. David uh, Goggins. It's Monday. It's President's Day. It's Snuggle Night. Yeah, I'm gonna go get Burger King and watch some more Cobra Kai. Yeah. <laughs> How it's much Cobra Kai night, is there? Yeah. There's not fucking that many. Monday, it's President's Day, it's a fucking holiday. Yeah. No one works. No yeah. one goes to school. It's I, that's I, not true. I, I, I worked on Prest. I mean, there's like what three seasons of Cobra Kai. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> Can you not watch that in like one week? Because yeah, he clearly Snuggle isn't Day, doing baby. anything else. Snuggle <laughs> Day, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck man, yeah. Can he like stop? Snuggle time and Burger King. Then I'm gonna watch Burger King and then Cobra Kai. Fuck man, you know, yeah. fuck this. Put on the original one it's again. President's Day, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Monday, President's Day. Time to chill. Yeah. I don't want this. Chill, Me snuggle, shit. and Burger King. I want King. Thursday yeah. night <laughs> white chill, plug in. Snuggle and Burger King. Oh, he eats. Uh, he's got to go no. to freaking Five Guys or Wendy's. <laughs> <Where's> my notepad. <laughs> <laughs> Back, hey. Back to Thursday night game. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give you, the Thursday night. Oh well, listen, don't worry. Yeah, steak night, baby, motherfucker, <laughs> fucking Saturday night. Fuck. If you don't deserve a steak, <laughs> you're a fucking wuss, man. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> you're a fucking wuss. You know what I had for dinner tonight? A steak, because I'm not a fucking wuss. His nose keeps getting like stretched Bigger. out, like, like so much more every time. What did he say? Chill, cuddle, and Burger King? <laughs> yeah. Chill, cuddle, Burger King. <laughs> that. I don't care about chilling, snuggling, or Burger King. <laughs> I just want to Thursday. hear that stick fucking beat in Thursday oh, wait. game. Listen, you'd, you'd be wrong to assume that I don't already have this sound clipped up. Yeah, fucking Thursday night, baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking Saturday night, stick night, stick night, and <laughs> the Serrano and wine. Yeah, fucking Saturday night. Fuck. He said Serrano. Who it's... fucking? Is he, did he say that? Yeah, De Serrano. Yo, that. Was De... let me check in on Super Coop. <laughs> Yo, Super <laughs> Coop was at the beach with some bitches today. Super is this Coop. is that him at the beach? Well, <laughs> we'll get back into TikTok. <laughs> Do you want me to start off like the regular show with yeah. uh, what I did, how I spent my morning? Wait, can we quickly make our own Tuesday plunge drop day? Yeah, it's <laughs> Tuesday night, bitches. It's Tuesday. Fuck, man. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Plunge. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. And, we're gonna, <laughs> and, we're, and, and fucking, yeah, and accolades. <laughs> yeah. Potatoes. Fuck, yeah. If you don't listen... You, cause, cause you're a wuss. Yeah, man. Tuesday morning. Fuck. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're just gonna, we're just gonna fuck, and we're just gonna keep <laughs> going. Yeah. All in the Wednesday. Yeah. You know what today's for? It's for smoking cigars, drinking white claws, and watching Cobra Kai. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? What day is not okay to watch Cobra Kai? Do you All think that's them. Thursday? I... No, 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 is no. Cobra no. Kai. Cobra the Kai is... universe... It's a good show. Can I say this? Cobra Kai is the universal I'm over 35 show. Fuck off. I like Cobra Kai. Yeah, you're over 35 and you're five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shirtless? Why are you always shirtless? I, I've i denounced clothing. You've started hey, last week's episode. You're pantless hunt. I'm not. No. No. See, Will won't detest. We're. I mean, I thought about taking my shirt off, but Riley. Uh, I was gonna go so live on Twitch, it. but I guess I won't do that. Um, <laughs> hello, you can? I can't. Nope. Just don't hello, say Hunt. Nips. How are you? I'm well. I'm not. I'm. I'm I've had well. I've had a week of failure. Would you like to hear my 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 chain? I before we get into depressing things, yeah. I want to say no, listen, they're I had all funny. The best morning. They're all funny. Don't get me wrong. So I wanna I wanna start this. We're an online let me, podcast, are let, we not? Let me change my mood lighting to red. Oh, you <laughs> oh. I have two of them. I got one behind my TV and my desk now. Freaking so fancy. let's let's bring it back all the way. To 7.57 this morning. 
Okay. I wasn't up, but Kristen Kale was. Who the fuck is that? You'll find out. Okay. I got a message from Kristen Kale, and it read, Hey, waving emoji, dear, will you like to be my sugar baby and start getting paid $500 for weekly allowance? (laughs) And I said, sure. Yeah, I mean... (laughs) You'd be a fool not to. I and then, would love to be a sugar baby. And as then long she as it was me, non-sexual. She asked me, yeah. what your name and where are you from? Okay. Seeing, I'm as, and I'm your seeing as my name on Instagram reads Hunter Marku <laughs> and then says University of New England. Pretty easy to deduce that my name is, I don't know, Hunter Marku, and I live in Maine. Yes. Not that much research work. Correct. (laughs) So I responded, John from New York. You fumbled the bag. Why? You fumbled the bag. I did. She doesn't want a John from New York. She wants the hunt. All right. Listen, we'll get into what she wants. Don't you fucking worry. Because she told me exactly Ah, what she wanted. Okay, Will, before we get into detail, do you think he fumbled the bag? I don't. I don't know. I don't think he fell with the bag just yet. John from New York sounds like he could be rich. <laughs> no, it's, it's true. I don't think you know what a sugar baby is. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah. Kale. Pause. <laughs> Will, do you know what a sugar baby? Is? Yeah, I know what a sugar daddy is. So I assume I know what a sugar baby. Go is. on. Yes. A sugar baby is somebody that uh <laughs> gets uh paid, or no, they just go around and they. I don't know. What is a sugar baby? Maybe I don't Think know. Think of sugar daddy. You're okay. in the right vein. What does a sugar daddy do? A sugar daddy basically has somebody to just like fucking bring and buy nice things for all the time. It's not necessarily yeah. fuck. It's like Dude, some of them are just lonely. I'll old give it to them. Yeah. I'll yes, give it to them. But yes. Like, that's a layup. They it's, have money and yes, they want to just have... like spoil this this girl. Bam. I, I, I'm not going to name any specific names, but wh- somebody I know was had a sugar daddy for like her initials a p it was you hunting (laughs) where her her initials a p because that seems fitting that is incorrect ah damn it okay but yeah the sugar baby is the person that gets the gifts and spoiled stuff right yes okay Okay, back to you hunt back to you so kale is from tennessee hell yeah and i said nice and then she responded, nice meeting you too. I'm seeking for a sugar baby that would be loyal and trustworthy, whom I can share my chat morning thoughts and feelings with, someone to give me attention. So you're already, Hearts around the head emoji. You're already out. So You're bad, already disqualified. <laughs> I sent the winky face, but not the emoji. I'm talking old school ah, okay. semicolon yes. close nice. parentheses. Yeah, absolutely. Good call. Next next thing she wants to know, how old are you? You know, I lied to her in the past. I'm a changed man. I give her my real age. I tell her I'm 22. Yep. And then she responds with, I'm 40 me year single mommy. 40, been wait, single. 40 me year single mommy? Yes. Is that? And there's, okay. and there's more. She goes, have been single for two years, and I can tell you I was married for ten years till I divorced five years ago after I caught my man several times cheating on. I know shit happens, but I won't tolerate that again. And then you said shit happens when you party naked. Well, wow. I said that's really unfortunate. Hmm. You're a good boy, John, you know, from New York. I am. And then she said, yes. Can I keep my trust on you, baby? Mm-hmm. And I said, sure. <laughs> and then she said i just need you to be there for me as a sugar baby and i promise to be there for you as your sugar mommy once you're honest and trustworthy with mm. me oh. seems like and a lot I, of, seems like a lot of work <laughs> and i said sure and then she asked what bank do you have access with oh. <laughs> <laughs> All so of- me me being smarter than the average scammer, oh, yes. <laughs> looked up a sperm bank in Tennessee. Okay. Oh my god. And said Zytex Corp. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then this was she took a while to respond after this. She was trying to find out more about Zytex Corp. And she said, I don't think it a bank. And mm. I said, It is. It's not a national bank. <laughs> and she said, can I see the bank app screenshot? And I said, they don't have an app. What bank do you use? 
<laughs> and then she blocked you. Nope. There's more. Oh, boy. Oh, my she God. She said, USAA bank. Hell and I yeah. said, good that's job. a good bank. Good job, Kale. And then she said, do you bank with them also? Forgetting my earlier statement. So I said, no, I told you. I use Zytex Corp. <laughs> <laughs> And then she said, I wish you also bank with USAA. And I said, can you bank with Zytex Corp? (laughs) She sure can. And she she said, no, baby. Can you set up USAA bank so I can pay you through there? So I see zero issues with this. I don't I, I don't know why you haven't created an account with USAA. USAA. I, well, I had to tell her because I don't have a social security number. So I said, I don't have a social security number. Yes, you do. And she said, just try. Clearly not giving a <laughs> shit, but I said, I don't have wow. a social security number. Okay. Have you and then I said, how do I know you're real? You can never be safe, too safe nowadays. And she goes, are you kidding me? And I said, no. Are you kidding me? And she goes, <laughs> I don't think you're serious. And I said, why? I don't know you. People get catfishes all the time. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the end of me being she a sugar baby. you or? No, she just hasn't responded. You want me to message her again? I do. Oh, my God. Yes. You want please. me to say I made a USAA account? Yes, I yes, do. Absolutely. I was t- so thinking, do you want to FaceTime in the morning to talk about your feelings? <laughs> I've been thinking about you. <laughs> Kale, you come up? back. <laughs> Hit her with you up. It's fine. Oh, man. I said, I made a USAA bank account. Want to FaceTime? You up? Three separate texts. <laughs> is this is this through, like, Instagram DMs? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had one request, and I was like, huh, sure. And wow. I was like, you know what? I have nothing better to do. You know what you need to, <laughs> you know what you need to send her? What? You know what you need to let her know? You need to let her know. I am legend. No. Because I, I am not 12. Because I am not 12. <laughs> if she questions you. <laughs> I am not 12. I really want her to message me back on the podcast because it's that'd a good be incredible. Story. Remember that time phone neighbors was a thing? Yeah. Remember when I didn't have any and they sucked? Yeah. It still is a thing. I'm... I mean, you're not wrong. It yeah. is. And I, people from my work do it to each other. Did you Are ever you text people your phone from your neighbor? work? Work uh, like number neighbors. Um, I'm gonna go with no. Gonna oh wait, no. I no. think I think I'm they thinking are. about something else. There's a game that you can put somebody else's number in, and then you can put another number, and they'll call each other, and it it le- legitimately will call that other person, and so you'll just end up, you know, your phone will ring, and you'll end up talking to like I don't know, like Stu, and you'll be like, I didn't call you. And you'd be like, you, you, I didn't call you. It's the weirdest Call forwarding? Thing. Is Will discovering call forwarding? Ah, is that what that is? <laughs> yep. Has that been around? Yep. Yeah. Ah. yeah I'm not hip. <laughs> Top five easiest high school classes. <laughs> He's in high school? Oh. He's in high school. What did no you think? fucking way that kid's a child. Oh, oh wait, he thought no, he was younger? He, he kind of looks yeah, like Yeah, I thought he was in at least like sixth grade. He acts like he's in sixth grade. Does I? Yeah, I think maybe he. Look at the show. Yeah, you think going. he made this just because um, he got a haircut? I think his cut looks great. I like I think cut, G. Too. Do I you like think cut the, G. Do you think he gets like comments in school like, "Yo, you that dude from TikTok"? Girl. He's gotta right. Like he's gotta. There's he, no fucking way he doesn't get bullied. No, see, I don't think he gets bullied. I think he has so much TikTok clout that. It, it, that has to carry some weight nowadays. You have to think. What do you mean? How many views does this video have? Uh, this one probably has like 30,000, but a lot of, like, he's has a lot of followers. Mm. Like, he you have to lot. think that carries some weight in a today's uh, high school society. Maybe he's going to get. Yo, I'll weight. fuck him up in badminton. Like, that's got to carry. He's the most car- unathletic child on the planet. That's got to carry some <laughs> weight, facts. right? I, I, no. I think it, I think TikTok clout carries weight. In it does. Society, That's the biggest sure. clout right now. It, TikTok it is, clout is fucking stupid. It is stupid, Hunter, but it's it's real. <laughs> it's re- Yeah, it's like it's if you. Thing. It's like when we were there. If you were like a, a YouTuber, or the last gen, the last like group of people is if you were like a streamer that had some some weight. Like, you know what it I was for us? Weight. It was bitches with like a lot of Instagram followers. You know, there were all oh, the true. There was those bitches who had like five thousand followers. You're like, yo. Yeah. They know her in Raymond. 
Like that was your barrier of entry. <laughs> Yo, they know her from one town over. Yeah, like they were like, damn. She so, met someone at the beach. Someone in Massachusetts follows her. <laughs> we should just keep it's up. It's not with her that. cousin either. That's what this is now though. Like if I I imagine the the like five year gap before him was like YouTube, if you were a YouTuber who had a good amount of videos, yep, or uh, like a Twitch streamer. Twitch streamer is still a thing, but like now, I bet it's TikTok. Like that's a hierarchy, and by no means will he ever be a popular kid. But he definitely has a better standing in his school because of his TikTok presence than he would have if not. <laughs> I bet we could get him on the podcast. We've one tried, day. man. One day it, it, he's growing never. up. He's, 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 he's got he's got more clout than us, and he's fucking twelve. Yeah. No, he's at least True. fourteen. He's he's got to be fourteen. I bet. What if yeah. he's also really smart and skipped a grade? Let's find out. Out of a five, we got health. Everything nope. in class is <laughs> no. easy, but it's annoying when you get homework, tests, and quizzes. That is all. <laughs> so literally any class. Any class, man. <laughs> Health this kid's cool. starting off cold as fuck. His dude, I is, hated dude. health, by the way, I as a s- fat kid. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, health was a... It was a hard class, though, honestly. Now looking what? back... I, health is all I do! What do you mean? Well, no one talked to you! <laughs> <laughs> Coming in number four, we got media and marketing. All you do Bro. is sit on a computer, and the assignments are easy! Okay. <laughs> the only criteria is sitting on a computer, which in and of itself is easy, and then the assignments also being easy. easy. <laughs> um, isn't that what this top five is? Yeah, this. What if the next one this, is also? It's just easy. This top five is for top five easiest high school classes. I think number one is going to be art. Also, that you know what he does? He's in one of those classes we. I don't know if we'll ever take this. We had a sports management class. I actually had to do this in fucking college too. I remember that then. Where we it. had to manage like a football team and like all their things. He probably just plays that. <laughs> right on his. Sometimes the teachers let you play games on the computer. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> wow. Coming in number three, we got art. Oh, All you do is draw stuff, and the teacher doesn't mind when you talk to your friends. Me and Will met in art class. Did this, you know that? Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. Been... Freshman year, me and yep. Will. Um, we we kind of really knew know... each other from baseball. We knew each other from baseball. Yep. We were the two fat kids, and me and him would bet before each game. We would bet and be like, yo. <laughs> oh, we bet on so tuba. We, we bet, bet on, on tuba. tuba. This is we've talked shit. about this before, but that's how me and Will's friendship was created. Dude, I that's... made my dad buy you chicken tenders at the end of the game because we made a real bet against Tuba getting a hit. Me and Will, and then going forward, we would just me and Did Will Tuba not get a hit. So we would we would make bets though, because Tuba was on my team because my dad has a soft spot for him. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> also true. <laughs> and he's really bad at baseball. Don't let him Did tell Mike you. Mike have a soft spot for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're just one of his fucking idiot sons. Like that's <laughs> Um But Tubo's really bad at baseball. He'll tell you different because in his oh. mind he has delusional ideas in his like he he believes some shit. Like he'll be like, Yeah, I was I was always good at basketball. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe a game or two he shined, but no. like No, Tuba made one bucket. You know what his you know what his go to thing with baseball is he goes, I was good in the minors. I was the best player in the minors. <laughs> <laughs> Was um, he? Oh, man. No, but I think this was like <laughs> me and Will were. This is like the thirteen and fourteen year old league where me and Will knew yeah. each other. Exclu- you know what it was is because we're both fat kids. So, but we were both good at hitting. So what happens <laughs> yeah. is when you're a fat kid who's good at hitting is you c- aren't fast enough to run what normally would be doubles into doubles. <laughs> Dude, I we, so you I either hit run. a home run or you get the first base. We yep. Home we're run we're just singles guys. Will's just going. Guys. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> so me and Will were both first basemen though, <laughs> and we we each got to first base like three times a game. Yep. So me and Will would, and we were both the funny fat guys. So we would both talk like six times a game, <laughs> just via. We, I know. It would we would switch off too. I'd be on first, and then Riley would be on yeah. first. I was actually talking about this the other day. I don't even know who I was talking to, but 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 yeah, I give how, credit to Riley for that. How <laughs> this came about. Was tube? We would be like, oh man, 
I go up to Wobeck. I think he's going to get one today. Because Tuba commonly would go 0 for 4. So we'll be like, I think he's going to get hit today. We'll be like, I think it'd be like, he's going to get on base, but it's going to be like a walk. <laughs> <laughs> or he'd be like, no, no, no. Or I'd walk up and be like, it's a two, it's a three strikeout kind of day. I'll throw a chicken tendy on it. Throw a chicken and then, tendy on it. And then we would lose and win. I think we were, and our dads would more. have to go buy the other fat kid fucking yep. concession food. Never brought money out because we're 13, 14. Like, I got no money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like that your dad's just like, okay. They're okay. like, you know what? I like it. These He's, kids are young entrepreneurs. And then my dad would buy me one too because like, he'd smell them and he'd be like, ah, oh, those are good. <laughs> let's, let's, let's split one. <laughs> but yeah, we met via there and then we became friends because we we were the yep. only kids we knew Dude, pretty much we were in a, we were in oh we knew each other from ccd too actually yeah but like that was after that, that was, was after. freshman year. dude you no. introduced me to like the so, majority of the guys in art class though we were in this idiot art class full of seniors who needed like one more credit to graduate so it was like just me and will and then a yeah. bunch of like level one seniors <laughs> yeah so Can you explain basketball. level one for someone who might not know? Oh. Um, our grade, our we went to a big high school. Big high schools they tear out the the class. Level three and fourth are Smart college kids. prep. Level two is Your just like grade average school. Student, level one, <laughs> yeah. Level one is uh, idiots. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were in a class full of just like level one, like barely. It's a class they put. But them that's in. also what all the art classes were. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah, I think it was level two. It was level two art, wasn't it? I don't know if they had a level. What's th- level one art? Like the kids are eating the paint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it might have been technically <laughs> level three, but I think it was just like, yeah, it's yeah. art. It's like drawing. It was like fundamentals of art. Like, <laughs> Dude, I never had to take a painting art class because Bang counted as a fine art, which is, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, dude, I, I remember... Um, I never. I didn't sit next to Riley for the first half of the semester, though. And then I wa- And then he came over to the table, and then we just started talking. And I, I think like you had told me like you should come hang out or something like that. And I went and I hung out, and like Sully was there, and I was like, "Dude, you know Sully?" And then like, I, I don't know how it went about. I really don't. Yeah, because you went to elementary school with Sully. Wait, did we go sledding? Probably. That time we got on the boogie board and put the chair. <laughs> Riley, do you bring everybody into the group? Yeah, he really does. Group. I brought Davis in. Though. There's a few fundamental figures, but I introduced Davis and everybody. A lot of us are. Set, <laughs> I think it's two central groups because almost all of us went to two different middle schools, and then yeah, what was the middle schools? McLaughlin and what? Southside, where you went. Who else went to Southside? It was me, Davis, and Kyle. No, Kyle went to McLaughlin and Green Acres. Me, Kyle, and Joe have been friends for about 15 years now. Six Who longer else than went? that. Did Ryan? Uh, Ryan went to Hillside. Uh, Davis, Nick, Dave, you. That's why. Oh, Ryan I knew Dave went to school. Southside. And then oh, Sully went to private school because he was a rich kid who played. That's why I know Sully. Yeah, because I met him in fourth grade. Dude, you, you met him at Catholic year. school, and then he went to my elementary school for Green fifth Acres. grade. Yeah, for yeah, fifth grade. where he met me, Joe, Kyle. Um, right. Yeah, Kyle. and that's I used to go to Sully's house all the time when I went like in like fifth grade through like like freshman year, and then all of a sudden like. Hey, holy shit, I'm hanging out with you guys. And, like, you guys know Sully. What is fucking small? Will had a trampoline, and we wanted to play dodgeball on it. (laughs) Yeah. That's really how he became friends with us. I did have a trampoline. Dude, we'd play some stupid games on that. (laughs) Dude, I wish I was friends with you guys sooner. I I didn't have trampoline friends. Uh, We also had Davis for pool. It was Davis and Will came in. But Davis was later. Davis was way later, though. Because we didn't meet Davis until, uh, uh, was it gym class? Did you have gym I, class I, freshman I, I, year? I didn't have that with you guys. That's where I met Ryan and Davis, <laughs> though. Ryan and Davis, I met freshman year gym class. And Isn't I, it weird how, like, so spread out? Everything comes together. I know. Because now we're like, what are we, seven years removed? Yep. We made video projects we're, together. Yeah, six years removed. All that. All that shit. Look at this guy. He's got us talking about high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> five, two, you, five, Mike. Rocket. Coming in, oh, we're doing the top five. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, we're right? still got top five. You're not even done it. Yeah, yet. Their music is the second easiest. Kid, do you think this kid yeah. plays any instrument or can read any sort of? Uh, he plays bass drum, <laughs> like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. It's 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 one note uh, a measure. Shang can play instruments. 
Pretty much, you just have to show up and you get an easy A. And coming is that true? It's true. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Do you know me? Me and Shane Allen. I thought used you to... have to do like scales and stuff for tests and all that. Yeah, but you like it's like you learn them once and then you never learn, never lose them. Like see, I, I can still I, play all every single scale. See, I joined things. band in eighth grade, so every other kid was like nailing them because they had already memorized them. And then I had to learn it on like the xylophone thing. And I was like, I have no fucking clue because I was not, I was never musically inclined. And then they'd be like, all right, we got a test coming up. You got to do your scales. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> Did you not learn the whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half? No, no chance. Oh some, there's someone like George Bush eats his own grass or Bill, no, Clinton, it's, it's Bill the Clinton drinks paper. chocolate milk or something. <laughs> It's the, the, the lines are good boxes, don't fuck around. Oh. And then I don't remember what the spaces are. That's way better. Or the acronym. Man, I'm a one. We got Jim. <laughs> this is the <laughs> easiest high school class because you can play sports, do meditation, work out in the weight room, and have fun with your friends. Did but you just say do meditation? When you're not in shape. Really? Oh, fuck. Um, how did he finish? How did he conclude? His, did he say unless you're not in shape? Yes, which um, still easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, or you could be me. And I'll advocate me. here. Still easy. I was the best <laughs> player ever, in my basketball class. <laughs> did I ever tell you I had when I was a freshman, I had to get surgery on my toe and then they took me out of gym and put me in walking for fatness. <laughs> and then. I still couldn't walk because my foot was fucked up, so I would just sit next to Coach Colcord. Isn't it crazy that was a class? Walking for yeah. fitness. Dude, oh, my. I forgot about that class, man. All the ratchet girls who wore Cookie Monster pajamas to school <laughs> would just Pikachu be walking pants. on the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there was me who got to sit inside. Yeah, like, I'm getting an edumacation. <laughs> getting my That's workout. That fun. <laughs> Dude. He also thought I was funny, so he used to let me play iPhone games, which you couldn't even be on your phone in Walking for Fitness, but I could sit next to him and play Candy Crush. <laughs> Candy um, Crush. While we're God, talking, yeah. Mike 525 Rocket. Top five worst classes to get homework in. <laughs> oh, Let's go. We got the easiest classes. Now it's time to learn about the worst. What do you? Number one's going to be chemistry. Or science, I, I guess, no, because yeah, he doesn't take does actual not, classes. Yeah, no, no, no. Dude. This guy does not take chemistry. Either that or math. Um, I'm going to say he starts there. off with... English. I'm going to say language arts. The, the work language. is very interesting, oh, but it's so tedious. Yeah, number one's going to be math, easily. I think it's going to be Coming science. Coming in, number five, we got health. <laughs> It can be a little bit annoying, <laughs> but it's only for one semester. You Coming in at number four, we got history. Sometimes I get homework, and I have a pretty nice teacher. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling that this list is going to be dependent on where he gets the most homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to change my answer to reading class being number one. Ooh, uh, like literature. No, I mean, specifically I mean, it's gotta reading. Be I'm gonna go. Fi I'm gonna go number two, physical science. Number one. You eight. you see, you're going too specific. No, it's no, no. Just see, gonna be science. See, no, I think it's gonna be physical. It's earth science. sciences, by the way. It's physical <laughs> science. I don't know. Is it physical Biology. science? And I think number. I think he's gonna go three math. Math. Yeah. Coming in number three, we got English. Ah, ooh, the homework run. can I'm be right a right bit of a pain, and it depends what the homework is about. I like when he tries to put thoughtful. <laughs> I know he tries to be serious. <laughs> Coming in number two, we got math. Oh, the homework can be annoying <laughs> because there might be problems that people don't understand, and it stresses them out. Oh, I don't think he's him. good at math. Just I don't him. think he's good at math. No, he's doesn't stress them math. out. Stresses you out, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in on one, we got chemistry. No, Except chemistry no. too. No chance. Wow. Yo, chemistry no chance. is fuck. No chance. This kid no is fucking shot. a junior or a senior. Dude, the homework is the hardest in general, and it's frustrating. Tom. I agree. For no, no, reference. no, 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 no. Do you know what high school chemistry is? Hard. No, you learn the periodic table and yeah. you learn how to convert things. Yeah. Like units. That shit's easy. It's not. Your brain 
your brain yeah. hunt, it works with that stuff. Everyone else's does not. I was not yeah. good at chemistry, bro. I was so bad at chemistry. Bro, it's chemistry is literally converting like a thousand milligrams into a kilogram. Like that's dude. Speaking of chemistry in high school, I met Dave Colford in chemistry and we formed a group with Tyler Palmer called the Chem Gems. <laughs> I I gotta tell him about this because Also, I, I don't know if either of you realized I just said a thousand milligrams is a kilogram. I did. Which is I, not true. It's not true because I was like, isn't that a gram? It's I mean, a gram. Yeah, and I was like, and then a thousand grams is a gram. <laughs> I was doing that in my head, but I wasn't gonna call you out on it because I was like ninety nine percent sure, but it wasn't on and that goes back to proof. Yeah, it proved my point because I wanted to see if you were got if you were just like Could you see me processing? Around. I did, okay. and I was waiting. I was like, is he going to say something? And then he didn't, which is why I had to bring it up, because yeah. I didn't believe that you thought it was hard, and now it makes sense. <laughs> well, no, see, I knew that was wrong, too, but I was like, I thought you made the idiot mistake. You weren't mistake. confident I enough. thought No, I wasn't confident enough, but I also thought you made the idiot mistake, and I was going to let you have that one. I was just going to let you live with no, it. No, I, I was trying to – I, I set a one. trap, and I, I didn't know if it was true. Mm. No, I'm Are bad, I'm bad at chemistry. I don't know what – I'm Wait, not what is on that man's forehead? Does it say I heart eating shit? <laughs> Good guess though. It says guess who just got kicked out of Starbucks. Wait, that actually guess looks just... like I heart eating shit. <laughs> You're right. He just got kicked out of Starbucks for you guessed it, being white. Brother, although <laughs> our complexions are that of a different race, I think that we are going through the same struggles and it is quite a disservice to our country. That is <laughs> one of the funniest TikToks I've ever seen. Would you like Bradley, to explain? Bradley, can you send that to me? <laughs> oh my god. I can't even say it. I can't, I can't describe why that's funny. Well, no. Explain the first part. Well, did you see what was written on the dude's mask in the second one? No. no what was Play it? it back. Okay. So this, to open the clip, a very white bald guy who has I heart eating shit written on his forehead. And he says, yeah. guess who just got kicked out of Starbucks? You just got kicked out of Starbucks for, Starbucks for the very you final guessed part. it, being white. Brother, although. What is this? I can't see. Uh, um, is it backwards? It is backwards. Mm. How did you read that so fast, Hunter? What hey, the, it, the first word is real. Oh, it says real. Real. Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't say it well. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Okay. And then there's a check mark next to it. <laughs> and uh, he's a black man. He says. Oh, I know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disservice. I thought you figured it out like a minute ago. Race. I think that we are going through the same struggles, and it is quite a disservice to our country. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much funnier now. Uh, one more Mike 525 Rocket video before we talk about how I suck at stuff. Top five best family guy characters. Oh, I, figured, I figured this was a perfect one to play with Will here. Peter Griffin, oh. number one. Yeah, you damn right it is. <laughs> I don't know if Will spoiling it or if that was just a really good joke. I, I hold back my good impression. I, I do it too much. <laughs> yeah, you stop petering a little bit. Ah, it's growing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we try to rank? I bet he uh, loves. I bet he loves Quagmire. Oh, Peter's Quagmire's number a number two. He's yeah. his number two has got to be Quagmire. Stewie, I don't think he likes Joe. Mm, Stewie's, Stewie's number is number three. two. You're right. You're Brian's right. number five. I bet Quagmire's no, is I three. Think it's Joe. I th- all right. <laughs> I think he goes Peter, Stewie, Quagmire. He seems like a Chris guy. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> the, no, no. Chris is a refined taste. He's gonna have some bad characters. I bet we're all wrong. Three step <laughs> deaf guy number five. Three step deaf guy. Um, uh, Lois. Yeah, I think he Sheamus. goes. I think he goes. Chris is Sheamus in there. I think he goes. Chris four, Brian five. Let's see. I'm with you on Brian five. Let's go. Oh, that was a oh, big. Yeah. That, was that was a, a big. Let's go. He got a big hoop for that one. Yeah. And number five, we got Joe. Oh, oh you funny right. because he is a wheelchair cop. I said that. <laughs> You say he's a wheelchair cop. Fuck, we overthought it. I called. I'm. Hold on. This is my list now. Number four. Yeah. It's going to be Meg. Because she, she gets punched in the face a lot. God damn it. 
Oh, he might be right. He might be right, Riley. <laughs> Joe's funny because he's a wheelchair cop. <laughs> You're right on Meg. I'm so- and cops in real life aren't in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> He got a point. Oh. My man making points. He's what so time smart. was that recorded? <laughs> because cops in wheelchairs. Regular cops are in wheelchairs. Okay. The top <laughs> comment is I'm a wheelchair cop, Mike. <laughs> Riley, I need to investigate before we continue. Yeah. Oh. Wait, more comments? No, uh, click the scroll wheel on Mike Georgie. I need to know if he's a true wheelchair cop. <laughs> okay. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, videos. he's fucking lying. Bro. It looks like Adam Simmons, so I'm gonna go. Well, Adam Simmons was almost a cop. So is Adam Simmons coming a in? Cop? No, he's not a wheelchair cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fool. We got Chris. Told you. He Ooh. is stupid, funny, and chubby. <laughs> Why did you? Yeah. yeah, and chubby. What? Come on. Number three, definitely Quagmire. Gotta be Quagmire. He, uh, <laughs> he says giggity and it's so And he loves fun. sex. <laughs> he, and he loves sex is gonna Banana be it. Number three, we got Quagmire. Uh, he is pretty hilarious because he moves his head back and forth. And when he says giggity. <laughs> I mean. His kids are right on. Yeah, he he just he, that's the joke. I mean, that one was just waiting for me. It was a meatball, and I hit a fucking so, home run. <laughs> number one and two. It's gonna uh, go. I think Stewie. there's more to this. I think it's Stewie. I think it's Stewie, Stewie Peter. Stewie Peter. If it's I Peter, think Stewie. that it's because he's a baby that talks, but babies don't. I think talk. Cleveland is number two. No, cause... no, no, no. He's Cleveland's not funny enough for him. Cleveland has his own show. Cleveland isn't extreme enough. I think that that. it's going to be a shock to you guys when it's Cleveland. Okay. Number two, we got Stewie. He's a savage, really funny, and says words in a funny way. (laughs) Coming in. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. He's the only one who does that. (laughs) (laughs) This kid sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Gleam. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's Peter. We got Peter. I mean, he is the best Family Guy <laughs> character because he is super hilarious and does the best pranks. To- you know That's what they say. Prank. You know what they say. Peter Griffin, prankster. That prankster. <laughs> that prankster. <laughs> Oh God! We'll check back in on TikTok in a little. Oh, that's great. You guys ready to hear about my my string? <laughs> Ooh, I'm ready. Hold the string. Um, so so it all starts. So I I took a test today. I took a bit. I, I needed to take a test for work for a thing, and I was in a class last week, and in the process, I I set my my desk up, or D set my desk up really. Because it was, uh, you know, online tests, see the proctored things. You can only have one screen. Make sure you're not cheating. Like, you have to clear of all technology, essentially. And the process. Did you go through Proctor U? No. Went to Pearson View. And oh, I did that for a couple of certifications. Pretty solid. Got yelled at because they said I looked away from the screen, even though they put things in the corners of the screen. So, anytime you look to hit next, it looks like you're uh, looking off screen to cheat. But in clearing out the studio um ripped ripped my flat screen tv off out of the wall just it's like a 52 inch tv just decimated onto my desk that's tough um luckily nothing underneath broke it fell on my desk which is chock full of electronics and shit wow yeah nothing broke Uh, nothing broke except the tv the tv was from big mike Felt bad, but listen, we're overcoming diversity here. Um, I didn't pay for the TV. It was a hand-me-down. Not the biggest loss. No. So, okay, so we're moving on. Uh-huh. We're moving on. Next failure here. Um, okay, I'm so here for it. I'm getting ready to go to New York, and I wanted to clean the house up a little bit. And we had just taken down various winter decorations, right? Okay. And in putting up... 
a new one of the old, you know, you, you take down some of your stuff that's hanging on walls because, like, you replace stuff on one hook with seasonal stuff. And then when you go back to normal mode, you got to go put them all back up. So in I have this big painting, nice painting. I look on the back. I the, know where you're going with this, and I think that you're an idiot for it. It's from the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. <laughs> official Hold up, what? Official tag. Like, like a thing from, like, the nine. It, it, it looked like it was from, like, 1999 from the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Look closer. <laughs> it's a Monet. A Monet. A Monet. You know what that is, Will? Uh, an expensive painting? Mon- yeah, it's Monet's very one of, expensive. Yeah, Monet is one of the, the, the most recognized painters in the history of the world. The, if not one of the most accomplished. Yes. Whoa. And um Oh wait, Monet is like a person? Yes, he's Claude Monet. Oh. Yes. Oh. And I, oh. I look on the back of this. And there's nothing. Like, cause I'm trying to be like, this is nothing. But the more I look, the more I'm like, shit. The more research I do, the more I'm like, fuck. Dude. So I do this research, the pin number, or the, uh, it's called the Ascension number for in art, I learned after doing this art research. <laughs> the Ascension number, same exact one listed as what is listed on the Boston Museum of Fine Arts thing. Plot twist, it has not been at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts since 1999. In what? The exact... <laughs> What's it called? The um, what are like showcases in art, like uh, exhibit. Oh yeah. The yeah. last time this piece of art was ever hung up was in 1999 in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts in a Monet exhibit, like what it says on the back of the same exhibit that it says in letters on this slip on the back of this painting, bro. So, so yeah. I guess so, my next question yeah. is. Now, somebody listening to this can can they find you and come uh, come raid your house? <laughs> well, well, we're talking about failure, so surely they'll want to wait till the end of the story. Oh now, my god! Oh, okay. Mm, now you get it. Mm. So I look. I'm looking all this shit up. I look up. So he made six of these, right? There's six variations of this same piece of art. The last one sold in 2015 for 35 million dollars. I just want to ask you, why did you think you had this piece of art in your house? Well, see, that's what the thing was. I So this piece of art I bought at a um, a thrift store in Plymouth like six years ago <laughs> for like $3. And it's just been hanging up in different apartments. <laughs> <laughs> Never looked at the back. Just <laughs> Dude, oh my, I thought you were gonna. I just thought it was a nice. So I just thought it was a nice painting too. I never looked closely and saw the the bottom corner. It said Claude Monet. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you look it up, it's called the Grand Canal. The Grand Canal. Yeah. Um, Canal. And yeah, so I'm doing more research. On the back of it, there's this slip that says like essentially, whose will. Like, cause it, the shit, who is well? These shits get passed along um, through like people, so it tells you like who the last deed was owned. That same name is on my thing on my slip. <laughs> like, <laughs> so now I'm like, fuck. One, I want thirty five million dollars. Two, I don't want to be owning this somehow stolen Monet. <laughs> oh my god, no! And if you do, it was a wide it. variety of emotions. Cause on one hand. Imagine having this and then having to just give it like you do have an authentic one and you have to give it back to the fucking museum. On the second hand, That'd be an imagine thirty five million dollars <laughs> just <laughs> just like that. Imagine you woke up tomorrow, walked down the road, and you found an Onus Wagner like fucking uh, 1917 baseball card. And you're like, oh, shit. Pretty sweet, and now bam, you have thirty-five million dollars that you didn't have two minutes ago. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. All the while, 
I am getting ready to pack up for the weekend and go to New York. So I'm like, I got to find all this info out now. I'm nervous to send an email to the museum because now I've started sending things to friends, asking them for advice on stuff. And like <laughs> everyone is being like, shit, because all the stuff looks right. I, you probably saw it afterwards, but all the stuff checked out. And they were like, you're going to have to just open it up and see if it's an oil painting or a replica. I was like, I don't want to touch it and cost myself $14 million or something by touching an original Monet. And you got it for, th- this would be like some Nicolas Cage shit, you know? This right? would be some Nicolas Cage shit. And, uh, and then Stewie really fucking dampered my mood. He goes, what size is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. That's a good question because guess what? Dimensions uh, are listed uh, on the just... internet. And guess what dimensions were not that? I had like a, it was like 19 by 28 and a half. The real size is like fucking 28 by like 38. <laughs> like Oh, that's big upsetting. It, <laughs> you could have been rich. I What's the next Excuse me. What is the next step if you measure that painting? And it is exact dimensions. I would. I don't even know because if you call at that point somebody, you got to open it up, and if it's oil, you might have a thirty-five million dollar painting. Dude, you do what Nicolas Cage does, Tell and you start more. diving into some more to like conspiracies, and then you test well, well, the back of the Declaration and well, find some shit. Did the storming of the Capitol make you realize that? Isn't that hard to <laughs> steal the Declaration of Independence? I know, right? I'm like Nicolas Cage. Fucking thinking he's badass. Face off and whatnot. <laughs> you guys seen Face Off? Have you guys seen Face Off? I can't say I have. Hunter? What kind of question is that, Will? No, you haven't seen Face Off? I have not seen Face Off, no. Okay, I haven't either, but I was watching fail videos on YouTube the other day, and this guy referenced Face Off way too many times. Like... He was in like you right now. Yeah, <laughs> I could be right. I while <laughs> while I have your attention, I actually have a, a serious question to ask you guys. Yeah, is it about art? <laughs> uh, if you define pizza as art, I do. Adam right. Simmons I, does. I do. All right, cool. We're on the same page. <laughs> All right, cool. So, that oh, this would be a great question for Adam Simmons too. Oh, I hope can I finish? Real, let me finish real quick. Uh, turns out oh, yes. I just have a really expensive replica, which. With Pay three dollars. I'm fine with it. How much is it? I think it's like a four hundred, five hundred dollar replica. That's not enough. And I'm gonna keep it, I so I can say I have a Monet. Maybe it'll be worth even more one day when the actual probably not. ones are dead. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe in twenty years I'll forget the dimensions thing and then think I have an original Monet again when I like move or something. <laughs> Get like dementia and you just totally forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a good fucking. I have grandkids. All right. Like, the year is fucking 2072. I just die, right? And they're clearing out Grandpa's house. They're like, what is this? They look at the back. This is from the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, 1990. It's a Monet. Dude, I'm going to fuck over my grandkids, like, 70 years in the future with this fucking fake Monet. Now they're going to go on a goose hunt. Information, less available, because guess what? It's 80 years in the future. Bam. Back to you, Will. <laughs> I like how we're like a news station today. You know? Sure. Back to you, Will. <laughs> would you like me to call up Adam Simmons? I would like you to call up Adam Simmons. Oh my God! Yeah, this is a great question okay. for him. This is yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh, so everybody can answer. All right, this. go ahead, Will. All right, so start, my question here for you guys is: Yeah, uh, what is more important to you on a pizza, the crust or the sauce? That's a stupid question. How is that a stupid question? It's st- that is a very serious question. That's a good question. The crust Are you the talking sauce. the crust crust or the I'm general? I'm talking like the general bread. So okay. like what See, goes that's, behind it? So like everything That's a better together. question. Yeah, so like Who's the general bread? The general <laughs> bread. That was good. I like that. Um I'm still I I think a, a good sauce trumps a bad bread. But like crust I, I yeah, go crust. See, see Will, look at it this way. A good a good sauce will make a pizza taste good regardless of its bread. But a a bad bread bread. But then you have a, ba- a bread. good bread. A good bread can't 
alleve. Alleve? Alleviate? Alleviate. Thank you. But look at like a good bread can never alleviate a really bad sauce, but a good sauce can alleviate a bad bread. And that's my only and final point. Hunter, on to you. Uh, I think I don't care. Sauce doesn't change to me. It's all about the uh, the the, that's the most the crust. That's the most I'm from France thing you've ever said. You no, flavorless fuck. You gotta have that crust. That like no, you gotta crust. have the garlic crust with the little crumbly bits. Mm-hmm. And fuck you if you disagree. Like I think of like pizza places like Domino's that have a weak sauce, and then you're like, whoa, like. Like I'm t- eating like cheese and bread, and good thing they have good bread. Good thing they have a good like crust there. Yeah. Like, now imagine if they had a good sauce. It would be even better, but they won't do it. <laughs> you know who has a good sauce? Sal's. Pizza Hut. Ooh, Pizza Hut. Uh, yeah, it's more Everyone's of a crust. Ghosting my calls tonight. <laughs> who? Everyone. They're ghosting me. Don't be such a little bitch. You know who we're gonna call up. We're like, gonna call up a real professional on this. There's certain places like I will order from because I like their sauce more. And like but like there's only certain places. There's not a lot of good places though. Where do you order from just for their crust? Just for their crust? Yeah. Are there Ooh, places? Cesario's on Elm Street. Okay. Taylor really fucking crust. loves Cesario's. Oh dude. Taylor, like Taylor Taylor? Like our Taylor? No, his no Taylor. like my brother. Oh, t- oh dude, he's right on. T- me and my brother love Cesario's. He's right on. Right on. Right on that crust with that garlic bits. <laughs> Damn, I'm over three right now. I'm mm. trying one more. This is the f- this is the food and aficionado of all food aficionados. The food aficionado. If he don't answer, he's a night owl too. I know he'd be ready. Is it me? It's not you. You're not a night owl. Are you sure? Are you sure about oh, that? We went over that last week. You're right. Never mind. Um. I make a compelling argument. Oh, okay. We got FaceTime audio. Hello? Oh, wait. Am I on, am I on speaker? Hello? I don't hear him. Yeah, you're, not, you're not coming through loud. Let's mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just need a second. Oh, here we go. Hello? Who's this? Oh, here we go. Kaz, you're on the Plunge Podcast. Oh! Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. Uh, so, here we, uh, go we got again. Will here. We've been ghosted by four Inner Circle members, and I realize if we're talking food, there's only one man to call. I mean, hey. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, no, actually, you were you were four, but number to be fair, it's a pizza question, so Adam was first. Ah, I get you, stupid motherfucker. Why'd you <laughs> <laughs> All right, Will, ask away. Okay, Kaz. Oh, this is Will. I don't know if <laughs> I've met Kaz a few times. What's up, Kaz? Hey, uh, so my question here is, uh, when it comes to a pizza, what's more important to you, the crust or the sauce? Bro, it got me thinking. Me, to me, a pizza is a great combination of both of those. Mm. Both of those need to be good in order for the pizza to be good. Because you I know, agree toppings, with that. I mean, I guess to me, I feel like toppings are toppings. They don't really change in variation. But what does change a lot in pizzas is the sauce and the bread. You know, the bread, the crust and shit like that, man. So honestly... I'm gonna have to go with this a tie. It's gotta be a 50-50. If I had to pick, if I had to pick one over the Crust. other, I think I would be all about the sauce. Yes. Do you want, so that's I, I'm alone on that camp. Do you want to hear my justification? That's a bad pick. Let me hear, it, baby. A good sauce will make a bad crust still a good pizza, but a good crust, a good crust with a bad sauce, that's still that can still probably be a bad pizza. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that because the crust, you know, yeah, you can, they can make or break, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, you know what? You just nudged me. It's sixty forty. It's <laughs> yeah. Than it is the crust. Damn. Yeah. More about the sauce. Yeah. Bro. I agree with you. Bro. I agree oh, with you. pizza hut open. I worked with, and he was this little <laughs> Italian guy, and he was from where's the office supposedly filmed at? Scranton, Scranton. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. That's where he was. Scranton. And that dude, 
I used to love listening to him talk about food because he was he was he was uh, you know he moved here from over there and he'd always talk about trying to find some Italian food and that's all he ever said was those two things. He was like he was like oh you know the pasta was okay but the sauce yeah the sauce you need the gravy mm. you need the so gravy the sauce was no good and then the bread bro the bread was just no good you know and I was just like yeah bro yeah Rick Savani <laughs> Shout out to Rick. Oh well, hold on. Now, now that we have you, real quick though. Now, now that you just said something, it got me thinking the other day too. Uh, are you an Italian pizza guy or a Greek pizza kind of guy? What? Like, there's two different styles. I'm a Greek. I have Greek pizza all day. Yeah, what I love is a Greek, Greek pizza. pizza? Oh, it's so different than Italian. <laughs> that doesn't answer my question at all. It's just diff- made differently. Sicilian shit where it's just like a shitload of sauce and like little blotches of cheese here and there. And no, no, that's. A, I guess I don't really know how to describe it. Yeah, it's more of like a. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a. I think Greek pizza is more like cheesy. It's more. I think it's more crust. Honestly, that might be what it is. Maybe what it is. I don't know how to describe. Okay. It. okay. <laughs> I'm, not a fan, I'm not a fan of those crazy style pizzas. Ish. I mean, I like them. I can do them. I've had them, but those are just weird. It's like this big ass bread, and then this red ocean, and a bunch of little islands of cheese. Yeah, like, yeah. Here's, here's a dollop of basil. Mm. <laughs> a dollop. Oh, those are called like yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Um, I know that's what you're a Mediterranean about. pizza. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's what. Or I'm no, a margarita. Margarita. No, margarita is just cheese. That's what it's called. Margarita. Fucking Adam's gonna listen to this and be rolling over. And it's yeah, crazy. you gotta put the gabagoo in the mozzarella. In the gabagoo. In the gabagoo. <laughs> the food. All right, Caswell, well, thank you for your input. You're very welcome. Shame on the other three people who didn't answer hey, before me, bro. That's okay. I mean, Anytime you need me, I'm here. We love you. All right. All right, bro. Peace, bro. Y'all be safe. Peace. <laughs> oh, what a great call. Yes. Listen, when Kaz agrees with you on anything, it's a great day. <laughs> it is a great it's day. It's a great day. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, let's do you on. Oh, I have so many more failures. <laughs> I haven't even scratched the surface on my failures yet. Uh, should I? F- I'll fire them off. We'll we'll fire them off, and then we'll get to some plunge picks. Hunter, get thinking of a plunge picks. Oh, I'm thinking. Actually, Will, Will, you're always good for plunge picks. I don't. You're, you're Ooh, just I great at it. I didn't think, but I will think now. Okay. My uh, brain's next failure. Uh, I have been hopelessly trying to get a PS5. I'm. I have Twitter alerts on for like four different guys who all they do is tweet out when there's restocks and like where to get them and give you links to try to get them. Failing hopelessly. I just want a PS5. <laughs> I can't get one. It's so hard to get one. Fuck the scalpers. Fuck. <laughs> like, I'm jealous of Jack because you know who got him one? Who? Oh. His ex-girlfriend who he was a stepdad for for a hot second. She was like, uh-huh. I got this PS5. Did you know Jack was in like a long-term relationship where he was like a stepfather to like a three-year-old child? He had step-baby daddyism? Yeah. Wow. Uh, but his old step ex-stepmama... Uh, got him a PS5 just because she had a pre-order. Like she got lucky and got a pre-order. Got one. Was like, hey, you want this? And he went, sure do. Is that for being a good step baby daddy? Just being a great guy. Wow, it's the kind of good guy who Jack. maintains rela- relationships. Apparently, we love Jack. Um, yeah, can't get a PS5. Also, NBA Top Shot haven't been able to get a pack. That sucked too. Do you know what NBA Top Shot is? So it's this new. It's a, it's a, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate everything about it. Oh, is this the, the fucking crypto NBA scenes? Fucking yes. idiots. So what this is, it's gifts for sale. So pretty much this company has added the word crypto to gifts and they're taking advantage of the two hottest things in the world right now. Trading cards and anything crypto. And they combine them. So what they you do is you buy a pack. So... Right now, the demand is so low that these cards are selling for so much. My brother got in early, so he was able to get a few packs before it, like, blew the fuck up. Unfortunately for him, he sold a couple cards for, like, 20 bucks that are now valued at, like, $8,000. Um, but what he was able to do when he got in there early is he saw that it was growing real fast. So he bought, like, every card under $10 that he could. 
and now all every single one of those is worth at least like forty five. So he's just holding them while this fucking fad booms. Hold the line. Um, I was, say, yeah, this is uh, I was able to get one pack. So pretty much what happens is it's so popular now that they have a queue. So they'll be like, we're selling 5,000 packs. And then you join the drop and you get in a random queue. You're just placed in a random spot in the queue. And maybe you'll get a pack and you probably won't. And I have not. <laughs> and until the other day, it took me four hours in the queue. But I got one. I got three cards in a pre-order pack. That I will get on the sixth, and then I'll try to make some money. It cost me nine dollars, so uh, yeah, me and Corey got them. I think we're gonna open them on stream because that's hot in the streets right now. Ooh, there and you go. Uh, yeah, NBA Top Shot been mostly a failure. Like for, that one has been more successful than the PS Five, but just by this much. Uh, failed my test today. That was fun. That's unfortunate. Yep, wow. very, um, very hard. Would not recommend. And uh, I was all pissed off today. I was like, I think it just hurts your ego. I was like, you're goddamn right it hurts my ego. I've never failed anything except this one. Ever? Yeah. Like, academically at least, never. Never have I failed something. I was like, this pisses me off. Except my driving test. But we won't talk about that. now. No, we should talk about that. (laughs) Failed that once. Um, Yeah. Do I have any other failures? Let's see. I was gonna, we were gonna go out for a dinner date to celebrate me passing, and then I was so pissed off that we still went on the date to make me feel better. <laughs> You're a fucking madman. <laughs> I mean, listen, you gotta, you gotta go for it. So yeah, I failed that. I, my art, my time as an art salesman, uh, a man who. <laughs> Is in the arts over. My time there is done. And uh Wow, you failed a lot of things recently. What what did you do? You <laughs> run into a ladder. What and... a very encouraging thing to say, Will. <laughs> yeah. You failed a lot of things. You failed a lot of things. Did you like piss off a leprechaun? Like, I might have. Maybe uh find a four leaf clover and Man, I gotta a... change my luck. I don't know. I'm fat. Eat, eat some lucky charms. <laughs> Chris Watsky. Are you trying to FaceTime me? Oh, sorry. I'm interrupting your fucking my park. Jesus. We got Will here. And yo, he yo. has a question for you. What's up, Will? What's up? What's up, baby? So my question for you is nice and easy. Uh, when it comes to a pizza, what do you care more about? The crust or the sauce? Like the bread uh, and the crust or the sauce? I think those are equally important. Ooh, okay, but if you had to pick crust, 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 crust. I would like a crust made out of peas and a sauce made out of milk. God yes, damn right. Guys. All, you know that's coming up like next week. It's literally next weekend. I'm home for that too. <gasps> I love you. All right, <sighs> bye. Oh, we got some surprises. Hunter, are you coming for home that. for the peas and milk cast? Are we get are you are? I okay. Am. All right. Is oh. Will coordinated? <laughs> Riley and I have a surprise. I have the grossest thing we're ever gonna eat. Oh my god, planned. it's gonna be amazing. Do you want to tease? Do you want a teaser? Oh, it's teasing. Just send him a oh picture. No. Do you want a teaser? Send him it. I don't him think I do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna convert something. Nope. That's all we're gonna do. Are we converting pee water into milk? Mm-mm. Nope. Ooh. I don't like that. I just gave you. No, some no, no. Sort of an idea. So this one's my idea. Oh, he this just one's gave from. My, do you want to know? No. Okay. Just think of beef jerky. He. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He just gave me another idea, though. That's all I'm giving you. Um, I'll run it by All you right. Later. You guys want to do some plunge picks? Tell them what plunge picks brought to you by. Oh, shit. I wasn't thinking of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunter, that one's yours. That one's, that one's on you. Official clothing. Yeah. A brand rooted in hip hop and based out of Tucson, Arizona, headed by the homie casual. If you are looking for affordable and comfortable streetwear, then head on over to official.com. That is O-H, fish like a fish, L as in. Let's not talk about how Kaz picks sauce over crust. <laughs> oh, O-fish.com. L as in. I took another L that I forgot about. We were in a poll, so we won podcast of the week Yay. from the podcast pulse. They're um, all news, all things podcasting. Uh, two weeks ago, we won podcast of the week. And they had a thing going this weekend for podcast of the month. 
Now, on Saturday was day one of this, where it was a cor- it was all four people who won podcast of the week this month competing. We fucking dominated. All right, we dominated the quarterfinals. Came to fucking play. We won the Twitter poll pretty pretty solidly, like sixty percent forty. Uh, but you know what else we did? We won the Instagram poll with like a hundred votes and had like 93% of the vote because that's where our audience lives. We're, we're a younger podcast. The, 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 the geographic is on Instagram. Hunter, where are you and where are you not? I'm only on Instagram. You're not on Twitter. Now we get I to the not. finals, right? And shout out to the Spy Hearts. These guys were cool. We were DMing all day. We made some new friends in podcasting. So we faced off against the Spy Hearts podcast, which also, they got a six-hour jump on us, those British fucks. Because <laughs> the poll ended at like... Those blokes. <laughs> so they got a fucking... Those blokes. They got a fucking jump on us. Uh, they had all the morning to get going while we were asleep. While we were asleep, they were grinding. <laughs> ah, like a student athlete. Yeah, you can't hate it. Um, But the poll for the finals was just on Twitter. I think we... we it was electric. This poll got like over 300 votes, which the first two rounds combined for like 100. This one got like 300, had like 100 retweets, like 45 quote tweets. Each each team had its own camps just blasting it. It was electric. I was, I was calling in. Pure electricity. It was at 50-50 for like six hours today. And the number, the vote totals were going up, but it was just dead set at 50-50. They pulled away with it at the end. I called in every resource I had in podcasting, in life. Um, it was on Twitter. There's not much we could do about there. I don't have that many resources on Twitter. I really don't. Um, we're in a lot of retweet groups. I don't really retweet people in them. They don't like me much. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, called in my resources. It was a fucking tight battle, but we lost that too because I'm a failure. Bam! Get fucked, <laughs> nerd. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, before plunge picks, I want to tell you that this episode is brought to you by Couch Guy Sports. Go to couchguysports.com to find all things podcasting, Boston blogs, their all their podcasts, their entertainment, all things Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics news. They have video, their Twitch, their um youtube go find all of it and more couchguysports.com plunge picks what are we doing so i was thinking mike two five whatever yeah. inspired it animated shows we've done that so many times uh, uh, we no have way. done that but uh, you bring up a good thing Ooh, a character high school classes yes oh okay deal um let's go if you're taking something with multiple subcategories, take the subcategories. So, like, if you're taking a science, you got to take the specific science. Deal. And then you can take English, but you can also go and take, like, mythology type stuff. But you can have English as a whole because that is a class. Uh, would anyone, Will, I'm going to let you start. I'm going <laughs> to give you this one. Mm. I'm going to go with... Uh... Uh, I'm gonna go with cooking. Yeah, you yeah. mean Homac? Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. Yeah. All right, Homac. Are we doing? Wait, do you say we're doing worst or best? Best. Yep. I never took it, but I wish I did. <laughs> band was fun, man. You had a good time. You like jazz band, didn't you? But you I, did it because it's at the end of the day. Yeah, that's well. That's why I didn't take it senior year. Which one do you want? I'm just going to take jazz band. Okay. Um, mm. I'll take marketing. I was, I was going to take that. That's where I got out of class a lot. Um, wasn't that fucking stupid? They're like, all right, someone's got to run the store. Who doesn't want to do classes today? Like, me. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm going to go fill coffee pots fun. for 14-year-olds to buy crackers for a quarter apiece. <laughs> Yo, the Austin peanut butter crackers slap though. Oh yeah, they do. dude. So what I used to do if I didn't want to eat lunch that day is I would just steal a, uh, I'd steal a dollar and quarters from my parents and buy four packs of crackers. Have you ever looked at the nutrition facts? <laughs> Don't. 
Because you'd be like, yeah, a dollar for four packs of crackers? Great. Fuck. <laughs> like, it's like so good for 1700 you. 1,700 calories. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'll take marketing and then... I want to take gym, but gym suck because then you go all sweaty. You're all sweaty for Dude, your next stuff. Dude, hated that. That was hated the worst. That. As a fat guy, no. Remember basketball, bad. how sweaty we were after? Dude, because I used to go hard in oh, basketball class, too. Um, I liked history. I'm going to take history. Oh, History is good. What kind? Not freshman. What was junior year history called? World history. I like world history. I'll take that. I, I, I like hated, I hated like... Uh, I hated the econ stuff. Like, nah. like New Hampshire history? Yeah. They're the shit yeah. class. Mr. Yeah. Page was cool, though. Uh, you were never around for Miss Ayers, the fucking bird beak. I was. Slayer. Okay. I used to sleep in her class. She hate. I showed up my first day in sophomore year, 15 minutes late, and she goes, you're late. And I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing what, what the teacher did. Okay, back Eagle to you. Eagle woman. Dude, fuck. Uh, so I took jazz band. I'm going to take chemistry. Okay. Because I loved chemistry, it's and it's worse. pretty much like what I do now. That's true. And it is what you do. You're not up yet. Hunter, uh, Will's up for two. I'm up for two here. Oh, I'm in the middle. You are in the middle. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to take uh, mythology. That was a good class. I never took it. Oh, that was fun. That's a fun class. It was very I didn't have it when – I didn't have it with Dooley, though. You had it with I had Gray. it with Dooley. And... I had it with Gway. Ah. Mm. Uh, Okay, That's back great. to you, Will, for your final pick. No, uh, your third pick, sorry. My third pick, uh, I took creative writing, and that was fun. I had a great time. I, I made a writing. book. That's like a Mike 525 rocket uh, line right there. Dude. And it was fun. And it was fun. I, I made... got to use my imagination, and it was awesome. <laughs> I made an entire children's book based off of Stu the Giraffe. I'm shit <laughs> you not. That. And I don't know where that book is, but I wish I did. It was a great book. I got an A on it. Fucking fantastic. No, it wasn't. Um, I took a college comp class in, uh, in senior year, and I made a essay so convincing that I got my entire class to donate like $400 to save a bunch of animals from the World Wildlife Foundation. No, I way. remember that. And now they do it every year. <laughs> they do. Wow, Riley. Good shit, I wrote dude. a paper that good. <laughs> Or like you're good. You got here's your credit. <laughs> All right, uh, Hunt, for, back to you. Or no, did Will take two yet? Yeah, I did two. Okay. Did you do three? Yeah, that was my three. Yeah. What, what back are you? To me. Okay, back to Hunt. Um. <laughs> I like pre uh, pre algebra. Fuck. Pre-algebra I was about class. to take that as an unpopular opinion pick, but I really liked algebra. <laughs> it was a good fucking time, man. Yeah. Um. Okay, well, you took the pre... I'm going to take algebra and trigonometry. Loved that class. Comey was great. I'm really good at math. Big facts! Yeah. Dude. I'll Never take, I'll take algebra and trig. Will, did you ever take algebra and trig? Nope. I, can't, didn't I had Garcia, did. dude, with Stu, and we took... Uh, uh, what was that? Geometry. That's a class, yeah. Yeah, geometry. Yeah. You yeah, took that senior that. year. No, have, junior, junior year. Oh, okay. I had that with uh, Ryder. He's a nice guy. Oh. You didn't need a fourth credit of math though. You you only needed three, but I took a fourth math anyway, and I failed math senior year on purpose because my teacher was a uh, <clears throat> was a rude woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, You're a lyrical <laughs> mastermind, Will. Thank you. My Thank fourth you. pick, I'm going to take the, I don't know the name, just the IT class where you learn Excel and shit, and oh, essentially yeah. you get computer lab. I'm going to take IT. the computer lab yeah, class yeah. where you just play addicting games. That's all I did. And uh, yeah, back to you, Hunt, for your final pick. Uh, my final pick is going to be, how is, am I the last pick? <laughs> your final pick. Will has one more pick. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. I'm going to try to change. Are you, um, are you just googling classes? No, I'm playing chess. Oh, Ooh. and let's see. I don't. I'm trying to think. What was the best class? I'm gonna pick pottery 
not because I personally enjoyed it, but because Mason got suspended for the first three days of his senior year uh, by making a clay dildo and then chasing Ryan Preventure around the classroom with it and then hitting Josh Hool with it. Shout out. Uh, Shout okay, out. Will, the last pick. I'm going to take – um, what was that class we had with Miss Mirandos? English. But it was like all we did was video <laughs> projects. <laughs> And it was so Fucking fun. Incredible. English Sorry. with Miranda. Sorry, Will. <laughs> English too. English too. <laughs> All we did was video projects, and it was fucking sweet. <laughs> Remember that one we did with Destin uh, and uh, and who else was that? Nick Burgess. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was um, that was Julius Caesar. Yeah. We had a Brutus come out and was a, with a sheet over his head as a with ghost. Griffin too, right? Probably racist now thinking back to it. We'd probably get canceled. That class was lit. <laughs> Yeah, literature. Ha ha! I know. I was gonna make a joke. I was surprised you took you so long. <laughs> took me long. You know me, dum dum. <laughs> Stupid! You ain't gonna get the chance. Ch- ch- My favorite sweet <laughs> bullet. She tell fuck. <laughs> bullet. Yo, this guy is creepy. Shit, I'm fuck. <laughs> I don't like this kid. <laughs> Why do his teeth look like those veggie straw snacks? Oh. There goes that. Stop. He's like a horse. He looks like a horse. 100%. And his he words, do look like a horse. His favorite words are ball like shit and fuck. Uh, one more. <laughs> break a bat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, what is this guy like 50 and he's do you hear him in the middle he goes let's break the bat <laughs> is that what he said <laughs> so this is some like 55 year old with a full like he has a pitching net set up in the background he's got his glove on and he's just wearing a polo and khaki shorts and he's just like that he's just rearing up a mean fastball he throws this maybe 38 <laughs> high and a perfect inside. strike though <laughs> Give let's, him that. Let's break the bat. <laughs> I like this confidence a lot. <laughs> uh, he probably hey, like- yo. Anybody who try to come up on my page <laughs> and hate on me, I got a present for you, buddy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich on the house. Oh, you can't come pick it up? <laughs> DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, whatever you want. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich for you. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's a classic knuckle sandwich. Hunter, thoughts? I would like to eat a classic knuckle sandwich. I know. Man. I'd like to see him and sp- <laughs> one, two, skip a few foul fight. <laughs> one, two, skip a few foul. Well, have you seen the guy with the spikes? The Liberty spikes? No. Oh, my God. Let me find it. Let me find him. He's a legend. Here we go. I've been trying to tell y'all, look at this shit, boy. One, two, Whoa. skip a few, four. Look at the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> like, he do look like a dinosaur. That <laughs> might be my favorite line in <laughs> anything we've ever watched. I've been trying to tell y'all, look at this shit, boy. One, two, skip a few, four. Look at the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, skip it a little four. Holy shit. Oh, Will, you're going to like this one, too. So, for safety, you check weapons before battle. So, for a red weapon like this, you're going to first check it with your hand to make sure that it has a good amount of foam. And then you're going to be striking someone on the back. You'll start with a light hit. Wait about five seconds for him to register any extra pain. A medium hit, followed by a hard, and then... Do the same thing for the other side. If it has a stabbing tip, you will be doing the same thing. Light. One, two, three. Medium. Hard. So these are um, a guy in questionable face paint, to say the least. Um, is it borderline blackface? It sure is. And uh, he's teaching you how to LARP and test your weapons. Oh my! You know, my I like that he's wearing catcher knee pads, like baseball catcher. <laughs> Dude, what? 
I also like the part where he's like, you got to wait five seconds for the pain to register. <laughs> like, all right, now you can hit him. What is he even holding? It's a, his own LARP sword. I don't, I don't know. All right. His own LARP sword, he says. Oh, What's up, guys? We're at the Beach Tower. I'm drinking some Ray's Energy. Got the Ray's Energy drink shirt. You already know. Slack. Slack. <laughs> he has again the wrong one. <laughs> Will, Why not? You ever met I want to see some bitches. Well, have you ever met Super Coop? Super Coop? Uh, no. Is this the guy with the dance party? Hi, guys. Let me just say real quick. Nope. Yes, this is me shaving. Still may have boogers there now. I hope not. Come on. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you guys are evil. I wasn't making fun of him doing his job. I was making fun of the fact that yeah. McDonald's had him out there in the freezing cold. And I did Back think it was funny that he was McDonald's. mopping. But now, thanks to you guys, I understand why he was mopping. But I wasn't making fun of him. So uh, he's got a giant booger on his shirt, by the way. Dude, this guy that's gross. making me sick. It's disgusting, <laughs> but like, wow, I bet they're done. <laughs> what did he say? Like, I bet there's a booger there. It's still not gone. Whatever the fuck he said. Oh. All right, my kings and queens above 18. I let oh, you sleep yeah. in this morning. <laughs> Time to put them feet what on the, the, the ground and take off running. Screaming cowboy in the back. I'm over here in yeah. Fort Worth, Texas. I... We'll probably be over here for a couple of days getting my truck repaired. So, if you have any suggestions on where to eat or where to go, I'm on the 820 or wherever. I can't He's even tell you where I'm up. at. I'm at a mo- Dude, listen, I'm all here for it. He's going on his fucking world tour now. Oh. The Kings and Queens World Tour 2021. It's a fucking go. All right. Do you know that straight men can have sex with men and not be gay? They can. <laughs> My friend <laughs> Riley, we need to keep watching. I thought we've already watched that one. I don't think we have. <laughs> Do you know that straight men can have sex with men and not be gay? They can. My first few videos were about straight men having gay sex, and I'm getting activity again in comments that people don't understand that straight men can be attracted to the sex act, but not to the man. See, and then there's <laughs> us who are the opposite. <laughs> Dude, what? Are you, are you trying world? to seduce me right now? <laughs> straight men having sex with men doesn't cancel somebody's heterosexuality any more than a straight woman having sex with a woman cancels her sexuality. And it's not about body erasure either. Please don't say that. Bisexual men are attracted Please. to both men and women to different degrees. Straight men are not attracted to men. They're attracted to the sex with men. Could some of these men be gay or bisexual? Absolutely. Hunter, you look flabbergasted. What What was this? What I think did it's he just say? Men, straight men aren't attracted to men. They're just attracted. No, straight men are attracted to the sex with men but they're not gay. That's a real sentence that somebody said. This someone guy. cooked that shit up and went. It's not someone. Yeah. It's this guy. He's Dude, posing at the gym. He's, he got fired up at the gym is what happened. He's getting fired up. He's ready to fuck a dude. That's a pre-workout. <laughs> I'm on my way to fuck a dude. But that comes over time, and that's a trajectory that only they can be in touch with to figure that out. Not the therapist and not anyone else. So before you leave comments, please re- watch my earlier videos, read my books, Google me. Do you know that straight men? Google me. Okay, we're gonna no. have to further into this man. Like later, in the next maybe few another. Weeks. T- yeah, in the next few weeks. <laughs> Keep an eye <laughs> next on next week specifically. Yeah, I, I need to. Oh, I'll be at peas and milk next week, guys. Peas and milk. Peas and milk and straight guys fuck right. each week. other. It's fine. We can do it next week. We got to. It don't matter. Whatever. Whatever works. All right. Here. Well, everybody. Do we pick one? Thank you for listening. Oh. We've had a great week here at the Plunge. I'm hoping to pick myself up, um, be less of a failure this week, and really strive for greatness. Um, Hunt, any last words? Straight men aren't attracted to men. They're just attracted to the act of sex with men. 
Um, yeah, shout out to <laughs> wow, <laughs> shout out to you, everyone for listening. Go follow us everywhere at Plunge Podcast. Everywhere, go to plungepodcast.com to find all things plunge. Plungepodcast.com slash shop to get that sweet, sweet merch. We got the Plungeons and Dragons baseball tees coming at you live. Marissa's Muddy Clam hoodies. We got the emoji shirts. Go get your shit now. Also, we got tons of stickers. Go get a sticker pack. I'll make a thing. Will's got the Muddy Clam stickers. We have Peanut Butter Hunt stickers. We have Plunge stickers. We have Plungeons and Dragons stickers. Justified stickers. All the stickers. Get them all. Get them while they're hot. It's hot. You're hot. We're hot. Who knows? Go check out all of our friends at the Inner Circle, including our friend, the homie Casual, uh, owner of official clothing, owner of ca- owner of Casual Designs, and host of the Plunge. <laughs> He's host of the Plunge? No was way. this week. Did I just get fired? <laughs> no, I did, because <laughs> I'm on a downward trajectory. <laughs> We need good uh, host energy. of the Hood Diner podcast. Also, check out the hashtag No Offense Show with Chris Watsky and Melissa Watsky, the Dutch. Um, for the time Ooh. being, do not check out Shit Happens When You Party Naked as he is on cancellation hiatus. <laughs> go drink Liquid IV, too. Sure, go drink Liquid sweet. IV. Sure. That shit's fucking uh, sweet, guys. Go check out the Simmons and More podcast, even though they both ghosted our calls. Go check out Failing sure. Hollywood. Yeah, I was um, going to say that one. That's also my brother. He is our brother. He's, He's our, our brother. brother. Wee, 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 wee. Uh, and go check wee, out the Untrained Guy. And also Creatures of the Night at Night Creatures Pod everywhere. Go follow Beth and DJ show, The Untrained Eye. And, uh, and you busy. fucking know what time it is. It's Tuesday, baby. It's fucking Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Uh, you know night. what Tuesday means? It's time to get yeah. ready for Thursday. Yeah, fucking Thursday night, baby. Woo, Probably, baby. Yeah, yeah, Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. yeah fuck. Got fire on it, baby. Yeah, fucking yeah. Thursday night baby. party time. Yeah, party, it's a short work week, but yeah, yeah. the weekend here yeah. finally yeah. Thursday night, baby. Fucking Fuck. Thursday, yeah. fucking White Claw. Got three days to party. You got to get tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yeah, go clubbing. Yeah, Thursday yeah. night. Yeah, Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. No work, no school. Work. Fuck, man. Fucking Thursday night, baby. Fucking weekend. We'll be back next week.